here. Yeah, look. looking crazy out here. Look at the popo over there. What are they doing? I'm gonna zoom on them, nigga. They they gonna think we crazy as hell out here. Man. Oh, he gonna get this? Hey, I can imagine how they was gonna take it off your hand. There you go. Isaiah 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sin. That's right, that's right. And so we are here to cry aloud out of the goddamn blizzard. We don't give a fuck. We're gonna come out here, we're gonna teach the word. That's right. Y'all read it again. And it says spare none. Oh, so these bitches don't like how you talk. Well, actually, these bitches and these um, Captain Save a whole faggot ass niggas, they don't like how you raise your voice. You they know? Say, they, they feel say, offended. They say we talk too loud. Right. And we scare them. They get scared easy. Yeah, and that's all that is. It's just a, the, the, the men of this nation is just being effeminate. They're a bunch They're of faggots. They're being effeminatized. Right, a bunch of goddamn, literally, they are a bunch of faggots. You know? But the scripture says, spare not. Spare none. Who care who we we don't care who we teach? A motherfucking police officer, a goddamn Congress want anybody come up here with disrespect the law, we gonna get them. We gonna get them anyway. Let me read that again. Isaiah 58 1, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Show my people their transgressions. That's right, showing our people their transgressions. That means their wickedness, all the sins that they're continuously doing. Like Christmas just passed, the New Year's Eve just came in. They all celebrating their all their different gods. They're gods that they, you know, that they embrace. You know, but you know, after you warn them, they don't care, they don't care. They can care less because they've been doing it so long. It's their pride that, that, that stops them from they don't stop. They, that's what this their pride that reason why they don't stop. Well, they so stupid. They celebrate New Year's in the middle of the winter. Right. The, the real New Year is in the spring when everything uh, starts growing again and it, everything becomes new. They try and say it's the New Year in the middle of the winter when everything's dead. Hey, y'all preventing any crime today, or y'all just imagining? Y'all imagining crime being crime fighting? CCP demons. They get scared if they see a real criminal. You know what I'm saying? Hiding and shit, calling the cops. I'm in the middle of the fight. You know what I'm saying? I am. I'm in the fight. We spiritual man though. We, this is a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual battle. I'm in the mood for a spiritual war. And if you like, you can go to the fucking alley too. Shit. They won't. They 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 provoke you out here in front of where the cops riding by when people got their cell phones and you know call the cops going the alley ain't doing that okay. fuck these faggots man the whole goddamn nation the nation of the united states of, a, of, of faggots everybody wears the tight ass pants goddamn perverse generation perverse generation of fucking vipers what the, ain't that what the glory called them a bunch of vipers he said the lord said it was a uh, uh, a generation of adulterers. Mm -hmm. adulterers. What do you say, you generation of adulterers? Uh, no, you call them an adulterous generation. Yeah, that's right. Adulterous generation of vipers. 
So an adulterer, that's a whore and a slut and a faggot. You know what I'm saying? All that. The Lord said you're a bunch of whores and faggots and you ain't no damn good. Damn right. But if you ain't, if you don't believe in the Lord, you're going to be destroyed. Down to the yeah, you say it as you need to go to the clinic. I will beat y'all's ass. You bitch ain't gonna do shit. You bitch ain't gonna do shit. I might like that. You goddamn devil, you ain't gonna do shit. With that yeast infection. You know you gonna beat our ass. What the fuck? We are ravaging. What the fuck? We ravage your ass. What the fuck? She gonna beat her ass. I will rape that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I will rape her. Right. And I will take it. Take it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing. She gonna like it anyway. Be damn right. Bitch. Get on the bus talking shit. Talk shit right here. What it is, man, they fear these scriptures being thrown at their ass. That's what it's a spiritual battle out here. You know, it's a spiritual battle. What's that? Uh, where's that? Uh, what's that? Uh, Ephesians. Ephesians. Oh, Ephesians. Yeah, that's it. Damn, you the spirit. That's the spirit, bro. That's the spirit. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. I got it. I got it. That's where everybody used to cotton candy, man. Everybody used to cotton. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why we ain't pressed about shit because we know America's shit. finished. Yeah, America's done. And y'all pride gonna fall first before this nation fall. Y'all pride, proud goddamn devils. Bunch of proud fucking devils. I got it. Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may, may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That's right, these scriptures, the tr in truth. And the wiles of the devil, that's all these traps and all these uh, snares they got for your ass out here. There's lots of them too, they on every Like point. that bitch, that bitch, that's one of the main snares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bitch is a bear trap, you know what I'm saying? You step in a bear trap, there goes your whole foot. You know what I'm saying? There you gotta cut it off just to get out of here. Yeah, you'll bleed it there. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you're doing being with these women, you're cutting your life off anyway. These bitches will take you out the truth quicker than a motherfucker. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's right. But against principalities. Mm. Principalities are spirits. Demons. Yep, demons. Just like that Funny. demon that just got on the bus. Yeah, right. Funny spiritual like battle. Right. Like he said, though, the only reason she said something is because the spirit had torment, tormented her. That's right, because she yeah, her spirit. Yeah. She got, yeah, the spirit, she was spiritually tormented. Yeah, because she probably got about 12 different types of nut in her right now. Yep. You know, no probably more. got 12 different types on her face, dried up. That's what, it, when you read his word, that stirs up his spirit. You know, and the demons, the people that got a demon, the, the demons start getting riled up. They'll start, <coughs> the demons will start cursing at you and shit. Call me off guard, bitch, getting on the bus talking shit, man. Like, what? Yeah, that guy, I guess, he was quiet as a mouse over there. That's they call me off guard. Yeah, I just, I, just, I, just, I just wanted to fuck the hoe, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking. She was, I'm glad she talked to us. I got to check her out a little bit. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Two planes, right here, you know? Two planes. Yeah. I, you, you ain't, so you ain't, you in the spirit. You ain't say, oh, I want to just talk to this you. And maybe she gonna feel good. The first thing come out of your mind is the right thing. I want to rape that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's what I was thinking. Right. What you th I mean, well, I was quite pleased when you said that. I just wanted, yeah. I wanted to, I, I wanted to kill the bitch, period. Yeah, well, rape, kill, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. You on point, you on point. You on point. Chill, yeah. I mean, damn, bitch been useless her whole fucking life. Give nigga some pussy, then, you know. <laughs> then her life was worth living. She gave a man the lures and pussy. <laughs> Make it even better, she cooked you a dinner. That bitch can't cook Raymond That bitch can't cook Raymond Noodles. Yeah, but guys, to be honest, man, you gonna get a white woman to cook you a meal before a nigga bitch. Way before a nigga bitch, man. A white woman will cook you something, and she'll bake you something, like some chocolate chip. We'll walk you a lot of old women. But you know, she make cook some meat all the fucking time, man. But I keep my mouth shut with the bitch because I ain't gonna convince this bitch to be a better woman or, you know, because yeah. I like her cooking and busting a nut every now and then. So, you know, let the bitches be a demon, man. You use them. 
You use these hoes for what they got, man, for what they work. Yeah, you ain't sitting trying to convert a bitch. Right, convert like, a bitch. Baby, I'm gonna read Deuteronomy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read Matthew yeah, together, yeah. sweetie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, over... like a duet, like a, you know, like. They said they wave. You know, I'm gonna read some prophecy. <laughs> Like a duet, you know, like them singers got a song with a woman. Yeah. yeah. Like Marvin Gaye, Tammy Terrell, Marvin Gaye, and Diana Ross, T Sweat, and. A duet in the scriptures. Looking like complete. That's what them pastors mm -hmm. do. That's why they get all that money. Yeah, that's what they do, man. And they got all these pastors, they got number of women in their church. Mm -hmm. That's why they get all that, because only a woman is stupid enough. Only a woman is stupid enough to give all that money to one of the pastors. Right. How you doing? How's it going, guys? What's up? What's up? Y'all believe in the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Come here, I want to talk to you. Yeah, what do you I got something to say. I got something to say to you. You got to come over here. All right, we don't have much time, but... That's cool. That's uh, all. Oh, we'll you're right. Home. We ain't got much time. Hey, very little time left. You are correct. <laughs> yeah, very... The time. You know, the scripture says time is short, right? Because there ain't a whole lot of time. Cool. What so, are you guys out here doing? We're teaching, we're teaching the gospel. Oh, cool. So you, so you believe in the Bible? We do. So uh, how come you ain't teaching the gospel? Well, you say you ain't a whole lot of time left. What's that? You know there's not, you know there's not a lot of time left. Yeah, we're so let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Who did the Lord come to save? All of us, right? All of who? All of us here on the earth. Hey, what you, the home planet earth? I like what, what church you guys from? We're, we're, this is the church right here. Oh, cool. We're from the church of the Bible. You read the Bible? Yeah. You read the Bible? Hold on, I got wrong stuff. I'll go ahead and read that. Uh, guys, we don't have too much time. Oh, yeah, the Lord ain't got time either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's I mean, cool. you ain't got time for the Lord and His Word. I mean, go ahead and do what you got to do. Hey, can I give you a picture of Jesus Christ? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Caesar? What's up? Let's see. Let's see. You ever Actually, read? I don't have one on me. Oh, no, I did. Just had the last one. one. You ever read the second commandment? What does that say? We get that no you. graven images before. Oh, but you gonna pass out graven images? You trying to give me a graven images of the white Jesus? No, sir. You say you can tell me Jesus was a white man. I don't really know. But you say you got a picture of. They don't know. You God, say you got. You mean people didn't see? Guys, we don't want to have a contentious argument. Y'all Mormons. <laughs> Y'all Mormons, ain't right, you? Guys have a good night. Are we'll you a Mormon? You later, Hey, yeah, uh, y'all met Rodney's cousin? Yeah, you are. Yeah, y'all. We got your eye, you devil. <laughs> <going straight in. laughs> <laughs> hey, it's got only a Mormon to pass out pictures of Caesar Bolivar. What is that? You want a picture of Jesus? Right. What kind of faggot shit is that, man? That's some straight up faggot shit. Y'all some faggots. They come, you want a picture of Jesus? Can I give you a picture of Jesus? That's fucking amazing. What the fuck is that, man? Here you go. Romans 13 and, I say Romans 12, but Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. So them dudes are goddamn Edomites anyway. Them right, not like this. You can yeah, see their spirit, their spirit, they just all faggot. They gonna go tell the cops, right? So, so. But who else, and that, oh, the Israelite ain't gonna be walking around talking, well they might do it. Hey, you, oh, you want a picture of Jesus? A picture of oh, can we all have a group hug? <laughs> you want to have a group hug? You know what I'm saying? Didn't want to discuss a scripture. At he all. Might, he gonna, they gonna go home and fuck each other in the ass. Right, right. exactly. Dude, he did a picture it, of Jesus. What, what, what kind of grown ass men walking around wearing the same exact coat, same exact pants, shoes and all? Same. All the more the Mormons. I know that, that only Mormons do that because they won't even acknowledge it when I ask them. Because the Mormons, they always walk around passing out pictures of Caesar Bozier. Not only that, but the Mormons, they have to wear a special underwear. Oh, if you're yeah, a, a yeah, man, yeah. They, they got something, they got to wear the Mormon <laughs> underwear. It looks like grandma underwear or something. Boomer. Oh, wow. And then they're like, yeah, some old-fashioned underwear you got to wear. Some old kind of uh, sexual he ain't magic. making that up. That's for real. Yeah. That's real. That's real. Because you got to engage in sexual magic to be a Mormon. I saw it in a movie. I can't remember what movie it was, though. See it on YouTube. They was bragging about it. Mormons is proud of it. Like I got my underwear finally. I saw it in the bank robbery movie. Fucking it was a comedy though. <laughs> and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now, how the hell? Like we was talking earlier on the web here about uh, how Brigham Young had like a hundred wives. Mm -hmm, how mm -hmm. the hell did these faggot ass Mormon get a hundred wives? Yeah. That tells you how stupid these bitches are. Yeah. They that, that tells you right there. 
of a, a, of a goddamn faggot ass Mickey Mouse talking Mormon lip wristed faggot to get 200 wives. There's something wrong. Man. Well, it should be probably easy to deal with them though. That tells you these women. Right, that tells you these women ain't right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. He was probably stress free. <laughs> oh, yeah, stress. <laughs> Didn't have one nigga. <laughs> Not even a mixed one. Faggot ass Mormons. And the Mormon church is growing and growing. That tells you they ain't got no truth. Mm hmm. <laughs> For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's tough. Time going on and going on, you know, a lot of brothers falling out because he ain't here yet. You know when you what your elders first got on YouTube was that 207? Yeah, the summer of 07. And um a lot of brothers and fell out by now. They lost patience, man. Because he ain't here yet, you know? It ain't in the spirit. The Lord didn't give them that uh, that gift of uh of faith. They stopped believing everything. Mm -hmm. Stop believing. They don't believe yep. that no more. Yeah. Now they now they believe the official government story on 9-11 and everything. Yeah. Now they patriotic, <laughs> they love America now. Yeah, yeah. You Looking for a saying? nice job. Yeah. Going oh. to college. Applied to the nearest local college. Yeah, they voting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. They yep. joining the Catholic Church. Got them a woman. They're getting involved with the community. Got them a black woman. These motherfuckers need death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> For real. There's no worse than somebody that wakes up to the truth and goes back to sleep. Right, right. That's the worst possible thing to happen. You know, even if the Lord don't come for another two, three, four, five years, that's still soon. That's still soon. Yeah. You know, that's still soon. Yeah, that ain't shit. Shit, when none of us out here going to the 80s or the 90s. Uh -huh. You know? I didn't know shit in the 80s and 90s. Right. I was retarded. Stuck on, I was stuck, right. We was all stuck on stupid. Stuck on stupid, literally. But these brothers lost patience. They fell out. The needless to know, they don't. They don't forgot that the they Lord is about to come. They fall out after two years. You know, you the prophecy speaks. Does prophecy speak for themselves? <laughs> you all you do is turn on the news. Hell yeah. You turn on the news and you watch what's going on over in the over in the over in the Middle East, over in Europe, Africa. You can see something's about to happen. Hell, you look at your own government here in here in the United States of faggots. Oh, here, You'll see you. that something's about to happen. Let's see if I can get that article out. You know that you you know o OSU got an armor tank, armor truck. Oh yeah, they got a bunch yeah. of them. OSU does. I see that. They, uh, uh, OSU yeah, campus. They, yeah, they, 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 they giving them the colleges. Right yeah, they giving them away. <laughs> So that's they it. preparing for this shit, they man. Use, that's them. They giving away them armored vehicles they was using in Iraq. Yep, yep. I'm gonna see if I still got that story on Yep. Here. I don't know if I got it. It might be in my cash. Can cash you, you saving stuff to your stuff phone too? I think I can view cash pages. Okay. Old shit I done looked at, I think. Nah, ain't no Wi-Fi out here. It is, it's weak oh, it is. It's weak though, plus I think <laughs> <laughs> If you go on like Eddie George, they'll give you their passcode to their, you know, their, oh, their Wi-Fi. Or like Panera, where we just came out of. Yeah, if you get their signal, it'll probably weak. God, oh, shit. Nah, it's just it says I got it, but it ain't doing shit. Yeah, it ain't working. But anyway, yeah, I was reading this article on the internet today. And they, they took a poll among like 64 countries, 64 countries. And uh, all, all, they took a poll and all the countries of the world said the America, that America is the number one threat to world peace. In America is the number one threat to world peace. That's because America is around all these other countries fucking them up. See what they did went over to Libya, killed Gaddafi. You know what I'm saying? Over a thousand. Yeah, Americans and all these other countries uh, fucking up their governments, trying to overthrow their governments. That's like Obama was behind. Is behind the. Uh, well, he's back in the Muslim Brotherhood. They over there killing Christians and uh, over there in Egypt. Over there, all through the Middle East. What? The government's behind Al Qaeda. You know what I'm saying? That's why Obama, he was going to go up into Syria until Russia came up in there and said, nope, you better not do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're trying to go up into Syria. Well, they already is in Syria. They, they got special forces and shit, and they're giving the rebels money behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Come your Mormons, homies, again. Oh, uh, the Mormons? 
what, what's, yeah, what's going on right now? There's a weather war going on. There's an economic war going on. World War III, all the wars, it starts at a small level at different levels before it escalates into an actual physical war. Troops on the ground, nukes is flying, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But right now it's an economic war. The U.S. is trying to offset what Russia's doing because Russia got something that they put together called BRIC. It's BRIC, it's, uh, it's Brazil, yeah. Russia, India, and China put together some shit and they're gonna crush this economy. They, they're not using the U.S. dollar no more, so they come up using another currency. Whatever currency they use, I can't say. All, there's but, all kinds of shit killing the dollar, like that Bitcoin shit out now. That's that Bitcoin, up. yeah. You know what I mean? They're playing with that too, just like they were going back in the, uh, the first stock market. Their values up and down. Yeah. Like, you know oh, they saying? can manipulate that shit. Manipulate. That's, that's, that, that's the word, manipulate. Um, what, what, um, U.S., how do I look it up? U.S., uh... Uh, just type in, fuck, I don't know. It was. Hold on, US I'm gonna go to RT threat. News. This one, RT. Oh yeah, RT, U.S. Threat to World Peace. That was one of the top stories on RT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, that's a good article right there. That pretty much sums shit up. Oh damn, it's the first one that popped up. Oh, for real? <laughs> U.S. the biggest threat to World Peace. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> the spirit, bro. That's the spirit, bro. That's how the spirit works, bro. Right, that, that's probably the United States. I'm sure they was behind that bombing that just took place in Russia. In Russia? Mm -hmm. You know that was the CIA backing Al Qaeda and all them uh, Islamic groups. Yeah, Putin, Putin said he was going to annihilate the terrorists. <laughs> you mean that too. He means that too. He used the, the language. He even used that harsh language over there, don't they? Yeah. He said, now they going to annihilate. Because you know what? When, 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 um, when Georgia started tripping, oh, yeah. Russia immediately went and shut that shit down. They rolled up in there with nukes. Yep. <laughs> they immediately shut that they, shit down. Russia rolled down and right down the main road with some nukes. They show you like that's what they do too. Yeah. Right? Yep. They don't fuck around. They smart. They put a lot of their nukes on mobile. Why you know, right? they spend all their money on nukes? Mm -hmm. That's why they don't. Russia don't have. They only got one aircraft carrier they use. Got you know what I'm saying? Haha, uh -huh, got them. Good. Russia spent all their money on nukes. Well, America, they invest as much in nukes as Russia. That was, that was a big downfall right You want me to read this? Oh, go ahead. Okay. The U.S. has been voted as the most significant threat to world peace in a survey across 68 different countries. So why are you going to be proud to be American if everybody's scared of your ass? Proud American. You're a great you know American, buddy. America ain't no different than the Roman Empire. When the Roman Empire went to the country to country, <laughs> killing people, you know what I'm saying, uh, stealing people, putting people into slavery. Hey, that ancient Roman Empire was bad. Yeah, but well, they just went through divide bad, and conquer. Man. They and just divide look, and conquer. Right, you gotta look at it this way. They didn't have all the aircraft carriers and battleships and uh, 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 them, them gigantic transport planes right, and shit. Right. Planes that's so fucking big, they put tanks yeah. on them. They had some planes. The close, closest thing they had to uh, aircraft carriers back then was islands. <laughs> what did they use? Like, that's what they said. Yeah, right, but they, right. they said they said Britain, you Damn. know, the police almost wrecked. The British Isles, they call that the world's largest aircraft carrier. Wow. Yeah. Right. Right. That's one of the most strategically it's located. Perfect place. Yeah. Perfect place. That's why. That's one of the reasons Britain became so powerful, just because of that strategic location. Because mm. you know, Britain was part of the Roman Empire too. That was a key spot of the Roman Empire. Britain? Yeah. Okay. Okay, um... That's where, uh, yeah, uh, Constantine the Great came up out of Britain, along with, uh, Caracalla, the son. Caracalla, how do you say that? Okay, demons. Yeah, there's all demons. Wicked motherfuckers, boy. Wicked-ass Israelites. Yeah. Wicked. The U.S. has been voted as the most significant threat to world peace in a survey across 68 different countries. Anti-American sentiment was not only recorded in Act to agnostic countries, but also in many allied NATO partners like Turkey and Greece. Oh, uh, Turkey, because Turkey, Turkey, they dream about uh, bringing the Ottoman Empire back. Because there's a lot of talk over there uh, about about the uh, about the, the Osman royal family. You know, the Ottoman royal family. That there's a renewed interest in the royal family, the Ottomans. Wow. Yeah, so sooner or later they want to bring the royal family back into power and they want to reestablish the Ottoman Empire with all their caliphates. Well, that shit ain't going to happen though. The Lord's about to cause some crazy shit to happen. <laughs> crazy shit. 
something crazy. But, that, but that's what they dream of. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. Because. Yep. Because that was a that was a great empire in a way. The Ottoman Empire collapsed you know, when it was, it was huge. It was disastrous to the Muslims. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That destroyed their whole fucking world. Hmm. A global survey conducted by the Worldwide Independent Network and Gallup at the end of 2013 revealed strong animosity toward the U.S. roles as the world policeman. Right. Citizens across over 60 nations were asked. Which country do you think is the greatest threat to peace in the world today? The U.S. topped the list. <laughs> Easily. There was no debate on the top list. You know what I'm saying? Every country hates us. Even goddamn Canada hates the United States. Mm -hmm. They right mm -hmm. next door. That, that mm -hmm. skirt. Yep. Yep. That, that, that skirt. That, yeah, that is it. Where's that at? Isaiah. Isaiah. Yeah, okay. Hey, you should get that. Isaiah yeah. 40 if you want. You know where it is? Isaiah 40. I get it. Damn, that's a, that's on point. That scripture is on point. Um, um, yeah, right. You got people inside of America that are Americans oh, that it? hate America. You know, South Park always put. That's one of their favorites, man. How they put on um their show how Canada and the U.S. is always they hate each other, man. You know. Yeah. But Canada, that, that's a that's a peaceful place. There ain't no crime in Canada. It's it, clean. It, it, it's clean. You ain't no, yeah. It's yeah, just one talk. It is. Yep. They always talk about because my my faggot ass brother and his and his partners, a bunch of faggots. They always go to Canada <coughs> to the uh, it's, it's a festival there that's called the Caravana. Caravana festival is where a lot of faggots come from hey, all over the world. Oh, they probably have a bunch of faggots. Mm -hmm. there. A whole lot. Of, that's what it is. A big yeah. fag fest. Well, anyway, but they always talk about how clean it is. Yeah. How clean it is. There's no pollution nowhere, man. Because the motherfuckers in America are crazy. People are. This, this country is insane. You just ride down the street, y'all. I do it. I just throw trash out the window. Oh, you want to hear how bad car. it is, bro? You know, China just rejected uh, genetically mo <laughs> modified corn from America. Tons of it. Even China, Chinese people will eat anything. They eat bats, they eat cats, they eels. eat dogs, eels, and shark, octopus, squid. <laughs> they eat all that. Shit. But they refuse genetically modified corn. That's right. So what does that tell you? That's and right. America's like one of the only countries left still eating that shit. Still munching on it. Cause they, they, we're just like a big experiment for the Illuminati. Cause what, we're, we're, well, Americans are stupid though. Americans are so stupid they'll mm -hmm. eat anything. They're they stupid. They don't never check the labels. They don't care what's in the food. It's too much work, man. Reading labels. Too much man. work. Oh, they too just want to watch football. Labels, man. You know what I'm saying? That's way too much work reading labels, man. I rather read a script. They rather read a read the stats when it comes across the TV screen. Yeah. You know the stats when it comes across the screen, man. Uh, cast and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cast, right, right. Right. The right. End of a movie. Go read the cast. Yeah, right. they, you can feed them them shit burgers and shit steaks. They wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, protein shit, shit steaks. Yeah, they, yeah, they wouldn't even know. Yeah, they sure bitches they will love it too. Got some put some gravy on it. Look like a Salisbury steak. Ooh. These fat bitches will love them shit steaks. Oh my boy. goodness. You know how you cook meat, man? It used it, it, uh, juice the form. From the meat. When you yeah. Cook it. yeah. Oh yeah. man, can you imagine them shit steaks? Shit, shit, shit. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> the bitches will love it though. The fat bitches will love it. Yeah, right. They slip it. Take some bread. <laughs> <laughs> they, they already eat horse meat. Shit. I'll oh, go ahead with that. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They, they, who was that that got caught with that horse meat, man? All these Burger King, What's, uh, Taco yeah. Bell, all, all kinds of restaurants. All them fast food restaurants. They have so many people got caught selling horse meat in place of beef. Do they not now they openly selling horse horse steak in a lot of grocery stores now mm -hmm. and just telling you it's horse and people's minded. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, because it's something different. Yeah, yeah. Because it's something different. These bitches they eat squids. They eat lobsters. That's the nastiest creature I've ever seen. Lobster, and then that's lobster. that's considered a delicacy. You take a woman out on a romantic dinner to eat some oh, yeah, some man, some, some eat some creatures <laughs> with antennas and shit. <laughs> Who the hell even thought of that? Like, let's eat this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck was they thinking? Because the lobster's at the bottom of the yeah. ocean, man. What made them go down there and get that shit and eat it? It's just scary looking. It looks like they're going to kill you. That's that heathen shit. Esau went swimming and said, oh shit, we done found a whole new mess of these bitches, they, they call that romantic, eating a, a sea monster. You know what I'm saying? That's ridiculous, man. That's fucking ridiculous, man. Awesome. That's why the Lord put a dietary law in the Bible. There's a whole section in the Bible that's completely dedicated to shit you eat yeah, just, and don't eat. Yeah, read Leviticus, the 11th chapter. <laughs> <laughs> and it's there to read. Everybody got a Bible in their yeah. crib. Read the whole book of Leviticus. You know what I'm saying? Right. All kind of laws. 
Can't, how the hell they don't know they got Bibles in their crib? Shit, I was cutting on, I was battling, man. I was battling with motherfuckers New Year's Eve. Here it is at 10 to midnight. I'm trying to battle with motherfuckers, <laughs> man. Over my niggas crib. I was on fire that night, man. Motherfuckers didn't know shit. Motherfuckers, talking about, I'm talking about they go to that giant church in the hood. Remember that one we went to? Oh, yeah. With the, they had a celebration with the pastor. Yeah. The church across the street from that bigger one. I was battling with motherfuckers that went to that church. And you know, they gone And there. they was gone up in there. Only, the only person here talking was me. <laughs> shit. Dumbass. I know them preachers don't know shit. Don't know shit. Oh, hey, one of their main men. This bitch gave this church thousands of dollars, man. Since I was a kid, she was going to the church. I still remember. And she don't know nothing. Didn't know shit. That's a damn shame. Here offer me some pepperoni pizza. Here I am going through the Bible talking about shit. No, I appreciate it. Then going to offer me some pepperoni pizza. Yeah, so How you know it's pepperoni? How you know it ain't turkey? I'm like, oh, because the but spirit told me it's pork. She's like, yeah, you're right, it's pork. You know it's but the funny yeah. thing is, too, people, they claim to like the Bible. And they get mad, just pretend, they get mad at an atheist because they don't like the Bible. But here it is, the, we like the Bible. We love the Bible. We love it. Live and we it. actually follow what it says, Live and then it. they got a problem with us. Right, what right. What kind of sense does that make? Hate you should be happy that we into the Bible. But that's the threat. We know the Bible. Yeah, what's, the, what's so wrong with me wanting to follow the Bible? Right, right, right. People are assholes. Backwards-ass motherfuckers. A global survey conducted by the Worldwide Independent Network. Already read that part. Um, U.S. topped the list of 24, with 24% of people who believe in America to be the biggest danger to peace. Pakistan came second with 8%. Damn, they just Pakistan. outran everybody. <clears throat> Over there in that pack. I can't remember, it's the Pakistan-Indian border. Oh yeah, because they it's, about to nuke each other all yeah, the time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's heavily. Um, they, they always battling over Kashmir. Yeah, they do yeah. Batman, they hate, I didn't know they hate each other like that. Yeah. They, they got a deep rooted hatred, go they, back to the ancient world. They say that's the largest militarized area on the planet Earth right now. Damn, yeah, that Kashmir border, yeah. They try to say that's the kingdom of heaven. Oh, I heard people they try to nuke. Oh, do you hear people try to say during Jesus' uh, uh, teenage years, he went to Kashmir and he was an Indian. He learned everything from the Hindus and he learned from the Buddhists. You heard that shit, Oh, AC? snap. I heard so like, oh, snap. Give you all, and people have a, a bitch of believe that story. <laughs> And if we was out here teaching that, like Jesus was a Buddha, we have all kind of followers, man. We, we have a big ass church. We had a TV show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, yeah. yeah Jesus, we're going to teach about Jesus' lost years. Um, yeah, so the show starts. The show starts. Oh, yeah. And one of the lost tribes is down there, too. You know what I'm saying? He found them. The show starts. Here we have Brother Aaron. Here we have Brother Aaron. <laughs> That's how they be oh, too. Oh shit! That'd be huge! That's how, that's how fucking be, man. The lost, the lost stories. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the lost, lost stories. You got the lost scrolls. Yeah, yeah. You know how I tell you in like, you know, I think it's the, um... When, he, when Jesus went to, he had to divide. You know how, I think it's at the, I think it's at the end of Mark, when it mentions how the Lord got so many, he performed so many miracles, the world can't contain that many books to tell you about it. It's Marco Luke in the Marco Luke. I can't remember, bro. Yeah, um, um, well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I think it's Luke, ain't it? Also, yeah, can you Luke. imagine the, the shit they come up with, the lost the lost books of Jesus Christ, the lost stories? Well, actually, Jesus they Christ. do that. When they do that, they'll quote that scripture that you just said. Yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah. them do it. <laughs> That's some funny shit, man. The lost stories. The lost, the, 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 the lost voyages of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Man, I, I've seen some crazy shit out there, though, man. I have, man. Well, you get on the you, you I have, too, man. People will come up to me all the time, like, you don't know the Bible. What you know about the Gospel of Barnabas? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, what do you know about the Gospel of Barnabas? <laughs> I, I read this shit, actually. Motherfucker, if you... Uh, I couldn't read it, man. Couldn't. No, that's what your dude Rob said. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He did say that, didn't he? Yeah, that's what, he, what Rob said that. I he tried to come on talking. He was a 5%. Damn! See, something's out here make my battery go down quick, man. Probably there all the uh, cops. There's some out here that actually drains my battery quick, man. I can't read no more, man. That's all right. We got the point on that. That's crazy, man. Only when we come here, man. They got my phone. They hacking my phone. They, they got the, they talk more batteries to burn the battery. When you use the intercom, turn. They, they probably got it turned to and listen to it. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, it's something. They getting a sermon. 
Yeah. Right. That's all they get. They get marked. <laughs> they get like marked damn. the fuck up. You know. <laughs> so I don't mind them listening in. Shit, they come out here and listen in. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna turn you away because you wanna listen. You ain't gonna hear. We ain't gonna uh, what you call criminate each other. We ain't doing shit wrong. But according to the, the leaders of this world, we're criminals. We're um, actually we're uh, we're committing treason. Being out here, according to the elites of this world, we're actually committing treason, man, against the U.S. government. This is treason. You know, but other than that, man, we only reading scriptures in truth and righteousness. We ain't doing shit wrong. When we leave here, we ain't doing no criminal acts. I like your ass on your girl. That's nice. <laughs> Real nice. Oh, yeah. I see that first. Yeah, that's why we sit. Look at that little shake on it. You see how they move? See how that switch is nice? Cool switch. That's how it's gonna be in the kingdom, though. We just gonna be snatching women up. Snatching if all up. you people on YouTube got a problem with raping bitches, well, too bad for you. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. We're going to be snatching women up. And I'll proudly say that, yes, we're going to rape women. Yeah. I'll proudly say. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, really, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> it's going to be a good good time. I'm looking forward to it. And you know what? A lot of these, majority of these bitches are going to be willing anyway. They're going to be looking for us. Like the scripture says, uh, Isaiah 4 and um, I'll get 4 and 1. I ain't got no these, problem with saying that. These if bitches you, gonna be looking for us, man. I ain't got no problem with you thinking that we cuss too much. You work extremists. No problem with it. Right? We're extremists. What else do they say? Hey, I'm, I'm embracing all that. I mean, too. I'm embracing I am, all. I am extreme. You know our crazy asses. We yeah. love that shit. We're insane. Right. We love that shit. Yeah, we love that shit. You know? Because these women, man, when this shit chaos, you can, they, they, they can act like, uh, uh, what's that beach that? Yeah, hot as hell, man. These bitches can act like Red Sonya all the fuck they want. They can act like Laura Cross all the fuck they want. <laughs> What's that? What's Laura Cross? Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider, yeah. Oh, These Laura Cross the bitches, man. They can act like they some manly, manly bitches all the fuck they want, man. But when the time <clears> comes, <throat> when time comes, reality sets in. Oh, yeah, we all know that's going to go. And that's the thing about reality. Nature itself have a way of putting your ass in check. <laughs> Nature. Now imagine the mass flood like Katrina. Man, them bitches getting raped like shit in, 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 in uh, New Orleans, man. Pussy getting snatched left and right in New Orleans, man. You know, even the brothers got reports on their video, made reports when that last flood happened last year in Manhattan, in parts of uh, Jersey and... Yeah, yeah. The, the brothers was laughing. A bitch walked up to him talking about, can I, get, can I get some help? Can y'all give me some gas, some money? See, they was laughing at her. Laughing at her, she crying and shit. Can you just help me, please? Man, fuck the black bitch. I'm a, man, I look at you with, with a double face, you help a black bitch, man. <laughs> I swear, man, I hate these bitches, man. They ain't shit. I fucking hate I, these I was bitches, watching man. this YouTube video uh, yesterday, and there's this bitch, and she was uh, she had a diamond ring on her finger. She's like, you want to get one of these? Well, you better learn how to suck a dick. Wow. And, she, and she was like, you gotta learn how to suck a good now, too. That's some wicked shit. And right she was there, saying, boy. she's like, that's how I got this from sucking dick. It's like I like sucking dick. There too. you go. Wow. That's what she keeping real. Though. Yeah, she was keeping real. That's better than a hoe yeah, that, right. that, that's hiding. That's yeah, true. Uh, that's better than a. They gonna have hiding. fun editing them clips right uh, there. What's that? <laughs> what you just said? What's that? Like what's cut, this? cut, cut. Oh, uh, put it in for the. We talking about put the video in the YouTube video. No, I said they are gonna edit you out, making it sound like you was saying oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, Edomite slaying them. They don't even fuck with us no more. They they, they done felt they fell off. They they ain't even, they they done ran out of juice. You know what I'm saying? They, <laughs> you gotta go if you want their attention. You gotta go look for them. Yeah, you gotta. Look. I, actually, that's what I had to do. You gotta go look. For I got so I was like, where are they at? I yeah. had to go look for to troll them motherfuckers. Yeah, cause it was one point. This yeah, camp yeah, was getting a lot of attention from a lot of yeah. motherfuckers. For some reason, this camp was getting because they made a video on um, God. Papa died. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's the spirit, too. That shit was funny, How man. when Papa died <laughs> first started falling off, yeah. they made that video came out. When he first started missing days coming yeah. out, oh, that wow. video, they made that video of him sitting down with his wife on the couch. Where'd that video come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How'd that get out? Huh? How'd that get out? He put it on the internet or something? It was just how the who, how him not coming out. 
No, a video of him on the couch with this girl. No, somebody <laughs> took his face and um, put it on. Oh. On so, on, they on a, they, they yeah, they did some shit like that. They had him sitting down with his girl on the couch watching television. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, because he hadn't been in the video. Because we never say nothing in the video about motherfuckers missing days and shit. Wow. The spirit was doing that, man. The spirit did that, man. That's crazy. Yeah, just like the spirit working with this camp. Remember that time when uh, Loki came out here? What was wrong? Illuminati. And remember, shortly after that, the elf, the, the spirit of the Lord was on uh, yeah, Brother Nola. Yep, yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. The spirit off. This man was just. Yeah, his spirit worked crazy. Yeah, it helps you out when you think about it, man. When you actually sit back and just think about things that happen, you will see that, like, damn, man, the Lord, the Lord is here, man. I got a script yeah. for the uh I ain't never been in doubt not day one day one being out here though, man. Oh that, that looked dangerous right on that bike. <laughs> I haven't seen fall though. I haven't seen fall. Got some chain tires on there? Yeah, chain tires. tires. Chain stuff. What's up, bro? Yeah. Snow tires. <laughs> that got a scripture back on what we was talking about earlier about these women and everything. Yeah. Uh, it's it's, a, a, cross, it's uh, a lower cross scripture right here. Actually, you know what, man? I want to read all of this, man. Oh man, this is so good. I, Isaiah, I want to read the whole chapter. I'll just start it. Isaiah 13 and uh, 6. How ye, for the day the Lord is at hand. That's right. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. We're howling, boy. He We're said, howling. It is a destruction from the Almighty. That's bad, boy. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you man, back to the Egyptian, Egyptologists. They ain't got no scriptures and no hieroglyphs. <laughs> they ain't got nothing that sounds as powerful. Nothing prophetic. And nothing out their mouth sounds as powerful. Even nothing. their own words that they come up with. <laughs> they yeah. can't match this. Yeah. Yo, you can write, yeah. like Poe like and Dr. York and all these other faggots, they can write all the books they want, but it ain't going to outsell the Bible. It ain't going to happen. I mean, you be lucky if you, if you get off 50,000 copies, bro. Y'all ain't even getting that. Y'all are weak. <laughs> man. Yeah, all them bitches, dumbass hoes. The retarded, doped up on them. Antidepressant pills. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. They're walking around in a High on pills. fantasy dreamlike state all day. Right, right, bipolar right. Disorder. Yeah, bipolar bitches. Uh, look, yeah, look, doc looking forward to going to work. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde bitches. <laughs> <laughs> man, you go to these sites, man, on the internet, man. You go to these bitches sites. They always talking about how love and life. Oh, yeah, that's just crazy. Love and life? Oh, I know. I see the bitches. They always get on there after they break up with a man. Like, I'm starting new. I'm so proud of yeah, myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's time to focus on me. Yeah, it's time. And then yeah. that, uh, uh, another yeah. girl will come through like, yeah, you go, girl. Do me. Like, yeah, you yeah, do your I'm, thing. I'm doing me. Yeah, yeah I'm doing I'm me. I'm doing me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These fucking sluts, man. Right. Oh, we're going to beat the shit out you bitches, man. Beat the shit out I mean, we're going we gonna to beat the bitches. <laughs> Small bitches, fat bitches, till your face swell up, go purple and blue. We're gonna crack you. What's, some, what's that bone right here on your eye? Your eye. We're gonna break your eye sockets. We're gonna crush your mandible. All that. We're gonna just mangle your faces. Since you like strange shit stuff, stuffed up in you, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stuff you with some strange shit. So all, all you faggot Christian types who are watching our videos, fuck you. Okay, you gotta. You, go, you. you got a problem with us? Fuck you. Fuck you. And we're gonna we gonna keep we gonna speak even more wrong. Fuck you. We gonna we gonna say even more shit that offends you. You know what I'm saying? And that's actually if you want to offend, we hope you're offended. You know what I'm saying? Right. The scripture said, "Blesses he who's not offended." That's right. Bless. Cause the Lord talk raw too. You thought we talk raw? Wait till you see the Lord. He come cursing your ass out. Blessed is he <laughs> yeah, who is not offended. Look at these niggas wearing shorts. We're like little kittens compared to the Lord. He, he's a mighty lion. We're like little baby kittens, like little cubs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he gonna give us that spirit of the lion later. It's coming. It's coming. Look at that. How ye for the day the Lord is at hand, it shall come with destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint. And every man's heart shall melt. Woo, they gonna be Lord a bunch of scared mind. bitches. Yep, yep. You know, They're they, already scared. Right, right. People freaking out. That's why you got everybody right now stocking up food, stocking up weapons. White people are preparing just for the elite for, to eat. Uh, right, yeah. Just for the elite to eat. Well, yeah, you got people preparing for the race wars. <laughs> right. Preparing for doomsday, uh, doomsday preppers. Doomsday yeah. preppers. Doomsday preppers. Because really, a lot of them are cowards. Yeah, TV show. Hey, oh, man, man, you watch that shit, man. Doomsday prepping shit. We having bitches like we're on the spirit right now talking about these bitches having them out there with assault rifles. Oh yeah, wasting bullets like they gonna really do something when the shit comes down to it. 
They're going to freeze they up. They're going to faint. They're going to heart, like the scripture, their hearts like will you melt. Just read. Like you just read. Because what they, what they prepped, all that, all that prepping they did, they ain't prepped. They had no idea about the evil that's coming. <laughs> you can't prep for this evil. You can. You well, can. you can. You can. Actually, you can. <laughs> But that's for us. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, preppers. Yeah. Actually, we the real doomsday preppers. Yeah. Because actually, actually, we the real preppers. That's right. Prepping through these yeah. scriptures. These scriptures. You can't, man. We're dealing with the most high here, man. We're talking about Yahweh. God, Yahweh shot. We're talking about the most high here. You can't prepare mentally or physically for what's coming. Only them angels, if they got you marked for protection, that's the only way. Just like That's Isaiah uh, 33 and 6 says, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability at that, that time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get the rest of this. It says, uh, oh, man, so let me get that too. I got the full work out. Therefore shall all, this is, a, I'm still at Isaiah 13 and 7. Yeah, sometimes it'd be hard, don't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore shall all hands be faint. Yeah, hell is right. Oh, you good. And every man's heart shall melt. Hey, man, I'm trying to get out of here, man. That's why I can, I can deal with this little bit of freeze. Oh, this is fun, though. These are the best videos you got here in the blizzard and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. This, this make for good memories. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the only memorable moments we in the kingdom, we will reminisce when we out here teaching. That's the only time I ever have fun. My life sucks. I don't think your life sucks worse than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take a hold of them. Oof. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed at one another. They, their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel. Cruel. Both with wrath and fierce anger. They don't sound like love to me, though. Well, does that say, what does that say, cruel? What does cruel mean? Cruel, that means some, uh, that means, mean. that mean, uh, the Lord will get evil. The yeah, Lord, yeah, the Lord created evil. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? So the evil days is coming. That's why I said when people get, uh, they get mad at us because we cuss. I probably do cuss too much. I don't even care, man. I done gave up caring. I used to try to play politics and not cuss too much. Maybe I don't care. Like I gotta watch my cuss words. I don't give a fuck no more. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. That's some weak shit. I'm trying to hold yeah. back your spirit. Yeah. You can't hold your spirit back. Yeah, man, trying to come out here and talk all politically correct and be all nice to people. And, uh, man, we just going to be, we just going to keep it real, man. Scripture says spare none. Spare none. Behold, uh, what was that, right? Yeah, behold, the day the Lord cometh, cruel, both wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, <laughs> to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. I mean, desolate. That shit is flattened, been flattened. You look at you look at the old footage of Nagasaki and Hiroshima God after damn. after these devils devils dropped little boy and fat boy on them. And that wasn't shit. You know that was a desolation when you look at the the, yeah. uh, the landscaping, and they got plenty of footage on it. <laughs> you that, know? that was a small one too. Yeah, that wasn't nothing. That's that's just a small or dirt. Atoms, atom bomb. That was back in 1945. That ain't shit. That ain't so the, the nukes they got now are amazing. They say thousands of times stronger. And Russia got a new thermonuclear missiles that can blow up a whole state. Call it a couple Jeez. states at once. Yeah. My well, one state that's a big ass area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's But I mean they got they got nukes. That's why they're so afraid to use those nukes. Cause they, they know that it's gonna bring about the end of this society, man. Yeah. Say, so that's why that's why this World War III is taking so long to start uh -huh. because they're carefully playing their positions because mm -hmm. the world is a chessboard. And they've been preparing for a minute already. Though. Just like you see the old chess players, uh, you see the old men have a chess game that will last like ten years or something because they, they, you know, you know, you see on to watch the movies. <laughs> they come back tomorrow because they, they carefully plotting their moves. Uh -huh. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. It takes a while sometimes. It takes hours for one move. It, it takes time for that shit yep. to happen. Because the whole object is to win. There's gonna be a winner at the end. Checkmate. Yep. Yep. You know. They're all waiting. They're all waiting for someone to make for a mistake. Make a mistake. Wait, wait, wait. They're all waiting <coughs> for that right time to act. Mm -hmm. yep. Like China is waiting. They just waiting and plotting to, to get the the the, 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 the strategic upper hand. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They itching for that preemptive strike. Yep. They're itching for all these nations that got Russia. The, I mean, how you gonna have? You you go to the gun store and you buy a, an assault rifle. You can't wait to use that. 
Oh well, yeah, that's you know? what I'm saying. They got that. They wait. They trust yep. me. They're going to use them. Yep. And Putin definitely. You can <laughs> see he, he he got that strong spirit. The Lord put that that spirit on him. That 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 warrior fiery, spirit. Yeah, yeah, that fiery spirit yeah. on him. Yeah, yeah. I like Putin, man. Yeah, yeah. I like him, man. Anybody that's going to bring this nation to his, to his flatten the flat, that's going to flatten this place, man. You're going to get a cupcake in the kingdom. But I tell you, you I'm going to get your ass whooped still, but I'm going to give you a cupcake, nigga, here. Yeah, eat here. it quick, motherfucker. Eat it quick, motherfucker. <laughs> that that proves how weak America is. But here, the, uh, the Russians got a president who's all about war, looking like a badass, and America's president is, oh, we got to help out faggots. And everything is about faggots. A pink, a pink president. And, a and they call the faggot rights movement the new civil rights movement. Yeah, right. They said faggots are the new black people. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's but, what they yeah, said. But that's true, though. But it started in the 70s, yep. 60s, late 60s. Yep. You know? It took a while to to, to uh to, to get into the minds of that's the That's when AIDS started, too. Yeah. Oof, God. Yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? When the, yeah, that's right. That's when the AIDS kicked up. It's when they first been there went, for years. Yeah, the, uh, when they first went to the... Um, the uh, uh, Senate appropriation, mm -hmm. that meaning when they, you know, when they go and uh, ask for funding. Yeah, yeah. That's where they first went to get the funding from the U.S. <laughs> government to start working on that disease, AIDS, you know, and they now they got it perfected. They perfected that shit, man.